and they're all in line. They're off in the dinner party stakes. Hurricane Dream had a very good start. So did a tone on the inside. And Emmanuel goes up on the far outside. Never explained. Away running in fourth. Splitting horses is Rising Empire to be a part of the early pace as well. So it's Emmanuel on the outside. A tone at the rail. And Rising Empire settling in behind them. Never explained is fourth. Hurricane Dream had a great start. Taken back in hand by Joel Rosario. Six lengths off the lead. Just ahead of Easter. And Speaking Scout is the trailer. A tone and Tyler Gaffleyone completed 23.85 opening quarter mile and head to the back stretch with Emmanuel in pursuit in second, a length behind. Break of two back to Rising Empire in third. After that, never explained fourth, five links to make up for him. Then Easter on the outside of Hurricane Dream and Speaking Scout at the back of the pack. 47.4 was the half mile as they continue up the back stretch with a tone to catch and Emmanuel continues to pursue on the outside about a length back in second as they race for the far turn. And then it's Rising Empire on the outside of Never Explain. Hurricane Dream will lead a way through. He's down on the inside. Easter is right up alongside of him as they make their way around the turn. Speaking Scout is the trailer three quarters up in 111.23. It's still a tone and a manual. They put one, two throughout, and they'll come to the top of the stretch that way, and they're into the stretch. A tone is the leader. A manual is second. Hurricane Dream has been produced on the outside. Work to do, but he's coming with never explained. And down the far outside, Easter is also finishing with a rush. Speaking Scout is coming through an opening in between horses, too. Oh, it's a wild finish in the dinner party, and never explained won it. Never explained and shook the game. He knew it. Hurricane Dream was in a photo with Emmanuel and speaking scout. The final time, 146 flat. Oh, that was a good one, and that was a new course record. What a finish to this race. We'll see if Shug wow. McGee, he can explain uh, how never explained it. this one. Your winner of the dinner party. Well, that's a good omen as Shug has performed in the Preakness a little bit later, but a, a total shock. Uh, Back in the pace, uh, back in the pack early in the race. He comes off two wins, but they were down at Tampa. The competition down there not nearly uh, is what he's facing today, but he's very, he's getting very good at this time of the year. The favorite, Hurricane Dream, was farther back than I thought he would be. Angled out, pushed a little wide, turning for home, which wasn't to his advantage. Still came with a really good run. Yeah, I, I, I thought he had a good trip. I mean, I thought the favorites all had good trips. Atone set a fairly comfortable pace. Uh, Emmanuel was right there stalking him in a good spot, good clear spot. Uh, Hurricane Dream saved ground on the first turn and most of the second turn and tipped out. Maybe a little wider than they wanted to be, but look, I never explained it was just the best horse today. Fifth win in 15 starts now. Cortland Farm, the owner, the debut in a stakes race. And gets to go to the winner's circle on Preakness Day. And this is why turf racing is so fun and so exciting. Look, at, Look that. at the amount of horses within a length at the wire. It's always competitive. <laughs>